Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 27th of 2020, well, it is titled Comet CG Evaporates. So what do we see here? Well, comets have been known since ancient times, and we see them as uh, objects in the sky, and we'll see the head of a comet and then great tails stretching back from them. However, it has not been until recently that we've been able to see a comet like this. And this is an image from the Rosetta spacecraft, which spent a couple of years orbiting around a comet nucleus. So what we see in the sky for a comet is the material that has been evaporated off the comet and not the nucleus itself. The nucleus is far too small to be able to be seen. And in fact, a nucleus like this is only uh, several kilometers across. Now, what, so what we see here is the comet known as 67P Sheryumov Gerashmenko, and that is the comet that was studied by the Rosetta spacecraft. And we now have close up images like this, and we can start to look at the idea of how those tails that that we see in the sky begin. Of course, we had ideas about how it would work, but now we're starting to see some of the jets of material coming off the uh, comet here. And you can see some of those uh, where the material is being heated by the sun. So the material gets heated by the sun, and what happens is it evaporates. It goes directly from a solid into a gas, and as the pressure of the gas builds up beneath the surface, it then expands outward through weak points of the surface and expels outward. And this may be part of the area that creates the tails of a comet that we see. So the material then being blasted off the comet, comet with very low gravity cannot hold on to these particles, so they continue to follow along in the orbit, and the radiation pressure and the solar wind will push those backward away from the comet, creating the great tails that we see when we look at a comet in the sky. So we're starting to be able to get an understanding of these and the data that we look at uh, from Rosetta that has, was covered over those two years is still something that we can study to try to learn more about comets. And again, until this happened, we really had no idea what a comet nucleus looked like. Even though we had been watching comets for thousands of years, we now actually can see up close and get a lot of images as to what a comet looks like looks like. Now the Rosetta spacecraft is no longer active. Its mission ended in 2016 and it was actually deorbited and crashed into the surface of the comet here. So it still remains with this, com with this comet. Now the evaporation is also causing material to be lost and in fact it's estimated that it might lose about a meter's worth of size every time it passes close to the sun. Now, it's still many kilometers across, so that's not a whole lot, but it does mean that over thousands of years, comets uh, disappear. So the comets that we're seeing today cannot date back to the early history of the solar system. They could not have made more than a certain number of orbits of the sun, or they would have used up their material. So there has to be a fresh supply of comets as well. So a number of things that we are beginning to learn about comets and uh, the details of how they work based on studies from the Rosetta spacecraft. So that was our picture of the day for January the 27th of 2020. It was titled Comet CG Evaporates. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a tad spacey. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.